Hi, so today I wanted to show you my new project I have been working on for the last couple of weeks. It is a lithium polymer battery powered soldering iron. It's a portable soldering iron capable of um, heating up with the same kind of power like regular soldering irons. I am using standard um, model RC aircraft batteries like this one. And um, I am using also standard cheap Chinese um, soldering irons like this uh, 48 watt soldering iron. Um, the 12 volt incoming voltage from the batteries is getting stepped up in this boost converter down here and is then controlled via this Arduino Pro Mini um, AVR based microprocessor and uh, we can control the whole device via this OLED display. Let me just plug the device in to a power supply right here. As you can see I have um, uh, set the power supply to 15 volts because I um, do, do not want to overload this Manson power supply. That is one thing in this test I have uh, limited the power and the voltage of the boost converter to 16 volts. So I'm basically just stepping up one volt here. Um, mainly because I don't want to um, overload this power supply which is not the um, best and also not the most stable one. With batteries I could get a much higher power rating but I wanted you guys to be able to see the amperage here on the screen. Um, uh, one thing about the display. What we have here is the um, the set temperature which is the upper one and the current temperature which is the lower one. And um, as you can see the iron is currently uh, cold at 22 degrees which is probably is room temperature. And we can now increase or decrease the temperature, um, the set temperature with those two buttons. So let me just increase the temperature. And as you can see with this bar graph, um, you can see the PVM duty cycle of the um, output MOSFET rising. And there in the back you can probably see the amperage of the power supply. It's currently putting out around 3, three amps. And as you can see now, the iron is getting up to temperature and the PID controller inside the Arduino is regulating the duty cycle down so that the temperature is getting correctly regulated. Um, as you can see, we have quite a lot of oversheet here, but that's because the iron is, uh, and uh, the PID controller is calibrated for the iron at around 300 degrees Celsius. Um, because that is normal soldering temperature and that those kind of temperatures we have, um, we don't have any overshoot. So if we just go to the second menu with this button, we can see the preset menu here. And we can then um, select something like 360 degrees, which is my normal soldering temperature. And with pushing both buttons, we can, oh, can select that. And as you can see, it goes into full duty cycle. It puts around 3 amps there in the back. And it uh, instantly heats up to the temperature and it will sh overshoot a little bit but not as uh, bad as in the last test with the lower temperatures. So while this is heating up we can still switch around in the modes. Um, I currently only have the preset menu. Um, one other thing is that the um, device is storing the current set temperature in the EEPROM of the AVR microprocessor so we can just go ahead and reset the device. As you can see in the back, if we do that, the uh, soldering iron is turned off, so everything is safe. And if we let go, um, after rebooting, it will instantly start heating again. And um, that is one of the reasons I haven't um, put in a power switch to this device, because I really didn't want this to get accidentally turned on. Um, the way you hook up the power is by just um, connecting a battery to the power supply, to the XT60 connector or not connecting one. As you can see the power is rising slowly here because of the limited amount of current but we could even go up to around 100 watts. Um, this soldering iron will self-limit its heating capabilities to around 50 watts at around 300 degrees Celsius so we don't have any problems with that. Yeah that's about it for this quick um, quick video about the LiPo solder soldering iron. And um, yeah, just let me know what you think about this device. Uh, full source code and probably schematics um, are will be available on GitHub shortly. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.